Okay, in today's video, we're going to talk about running your PPC ad campaigns on Google. Of course, this could apply to Facebook or any other place you're running online advertising as well for your business or whatever you're doing. Running those ads and you're and spending your hard-earned ad money <clears throat> Uh, whether or not it's a good idea basically to run those on the weekend run them overnight um, both of which are kind of interconnected which is why we're sharing um, the, the strategies we use here at guaranteed PPC and I use for um, our clients here at the firm there's a specific way to take the opportunity that a lot of people ignore ie they don't want to run ads over the weekend and overnight to just scoop up that basic uh, opportunity that they're throwing away because they just, just simply do not know about it and profit handsomely from that by just doing the strategy that I'm going to give you here on today's video. It's a very, very simple strategy. Anybody can do this strategy. You can double to triple basically the ROI your campaigns are getting right now or could potentially get during any other time during the week or um, you know, you know, on the weekends overnight, uh, more so if you're B to uh, C, they we're talking mainly about overnight here. Also, by the way, I talk about holidays. That's also included in this. The same strategy we work for holidays. A lot of people don't want to run ads on holidays because they, for a number of reasons, I'm going to go through. That's a big no-no if you want extra money in your business, just free extra money at higher than average returns. You just take advantage of that and using this strategy I'm going to give you here as well, the same strategy. So, um, operating your PPC campaigns on the weekend or overnight, pay less money for the same exact you know leads, if you will, not same quality per se, which I'm going to get into, but ultimately pay less for customers. The leads are you, running the leads, your ads at a weird time during the weekend. Sometimes the lead quality isn't quite the same. But they're so much cheaper that you got to do it. So ultimately, you're going to pay a lot less for customers. That's where your double to triple the ROI is going to come from. Using these methods, I'm going to share with you on today's video. So, okay, as, as you usually do on my video, if you watched any of my other videos before, I have a short list of things that I'm going to cover before I get into the strategy and how it's used, what kind of results you could expect. So you can walk away from this video with actual information on being able to make money with PPC ads today. Um, and that is uh, starting with a background. Why people don't advertise when they're closed. So this is basically all predicated around uh, people don't think they run, you know, their ads during the weekend or overnight because hey, we're closed here. Why? And obviously, we're talking about any any business here where you're generating a lead. If you're doing e-commerce. This obviously doesn't come up. Um, Except for, and this is a big except, if you're selling a product over $100 and a typical consumer will want to call and talk to you over the phone before they order to have confidence in what they're ordering. And by the way, I have people all the time that just have a phobia of talking to customers. They want this automated business who just makes money while they sleep. They don't have to do anything. If you're selling stuff for over $100, you're going to lose a ton of money if you're not willing to talk to somebody, like half your half your money, basically. And in a lot of situations, if your competitors are offering a, a phone number and you're not, you'll want to. You're just like, <clears throat> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> then you may not even get the ads to be profitable enough at all and just can't do it at all. So my answer to all that is, is to... Start small, answer the phone, get over it initially, scale up your ad campaigns, and then hire a salesperson to answer the phone. You're gonna, you know, if you do all of the above and you do it the right way, you're gonna make millions of dollars a year from Google Ads in most markets. So it's up to you if you want that money for yourself or not. But basically, um, so you know, if you're in e-commerce and you normally take calls and you're thinking for. Most of the time, people would run the ads all the way, all the time anyway. Um, but if you didn't, for some reason, this would apply to you as well. But for everybody else, 98% of the rest of the people, what this is for is if you generate leads, you're a local service company, 
you're a you know a, cons a business consulting provider you're a cl offering a cleaning service whatever generating leads from your ppc campaign that you have to work and have an, a close or close rate involved with those leads to get the actual money from that consumer that you're ultimately paying for from google ads so if they're not able to answer the phone or answer a form lead um, ultimately with set for like a day or two and i'm not talking about answering it with an automated response i'm talking about a human response here they'll just say well the, you know obviously it's, it comes from somewhere people read that it's not ideal to not be able to answer your customers so then they just won't run the ads at that time so that makes logical sense but there's again there's a there's so there's ways around it so you can still get the money and still not have to answer the um well you will okay so i'll get into the actual the ifs ands and buts and how all this works and how you're going to be able to make two to three times the amount of money that you normally make from this ppc running the ads at, uh, at night and over the weekends but the general you know thinking is i want to say half the people won't run the ads overnight and on the weekends because of you know well there's a couple main reasons but you know they're not there and so therefore um I'll just skip down to the second one here. They need, they think they need to be able to answer the leads in real time for it to work. There's stats out there you could find if you just Google um, close rates on leads from the time that the lead is submitted on the form. And you get maximum close rates on leads if you answer a form lead within 15 minutes, if you weren't aware. And the longer you wait, the less chance you're going to have because people, you're less likely to get that person basically on the phone again is the main reason there. That person also may not be in a hot and bothered buying mood, you know, on Monday when they filled out the form Friday night, which is another reason. But the other reason why people don't run the ads on nights and weekends is they think that the traffic isn't worth as much. And this can be, and this is a mainly related to if you're a B2B business, a business, uh, a business, or what you're trying to sell is to a business. And that certainly is the case. Now, I don't want to misrepresent anything here the traffic is not as good a quality on the weekends because the person as you can imagine the person who wants the the whale that you want is just they have enough money and they're busy and they you know they'll more statistically likely which is what this ppc stuff is all about just while they're sitting at their desk the purchasing manager which is not going to ever call on the weekend, at a, which would be a purchasing manager at a bigger, big enough company to have actually a purchasing manager, will call during business hours, Monday through Friday. Um, whereas more likely you're going to get the owner who's trying to do that instead of you know, a smaller company to call on the weekends. But that doesn't mean that the traffic's worth nothing. It's just it's worth less. And so it, instead of overcomplicating it, people just say, eh, I'm just not going to run the ads. I, you know, for the most part, what... Uh, it's too, it just don't, I'm not going to worry about that. So anyway, that, those are the reasons why people don't run the ads. And with that, anytime there's some general misconceptions about something with the PPC, there's an opportunity because what people do when there's misconceptions about things or there's confusion, people just don't do it at all. So if you could step in and actually know how, how to utilize the leftovers, if you will, there's an arbitrage opportunity there for you to make a lot of money. And in situations where you're not making enough money now, you could potentially rely completely on that and not just do the normal stuff everybody else is doing. And you could end up deciding to do that after today's video. Or of course, you can just add additional uh, above average profitable, uh, profitable business on top of what you already have by using the method I'm gonna share with you to run the ads on the weekends and overnight to where it gets two to three times the ROI then the usual stuff that every, everybody else is doing during the week and um, because you know it's more crowded basically so any of that anyway that all said I want to uh, just quickly mention about the b2b side of business if you're you know there most b2b clicks are 50 to 75 percent less cost should have wrote cost there after hours or on the weekends than during the prime time nine to five Monday through Friday. So because of the reasons I just gave you here above, um, people just say, ah, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm not gonna run the ads on the weekends. 
I know the big customers are mainly calling during the week, so that I'm just, you know, and for most part, for the most part, if you're not going to spend time on your PPC, and you, you know, you don't really care that much, it's low maintenance. But um, so you could get people interested in whatever you're offering, maybe a statistically little bit different pool of people, but it's 50 to 75 percent less for that for a click. And I could tell you the arbitrage main. The, start, the first arbitrage opportunity with all this I'm going to describe exists with the fact that you could pay upwards of 75% less for a click. With the traffic, well, in some spaces, it just depends. Like if you're looking for a, only cust, you know, co companies that have 500 employees or more, do Monday through Friday. But if you're not, you could deal with smaller companies. Huge, huge opportunity going after the weekends and overnights um, that in that you know, the, that traffic is not, it, it may be, you know, 30% less quality overall, but it's not 75. In almost every case where I've tested this, again, unless you have to have big companies, which would, this would not apply, the traffic is worth more than what the disc, normal discount is on that traffic on the nights and weekends. So you should definitely give it a try. And if you're skeptical, you don't have to take my word for it. If you need to have conversion tracking set up on your your, your PPC accounts, uh, if you're doing Google Ads, you know obviously you need to track your leads, and if your leads are going to a sale, which would be the best scenario, and um, you can actually have that show up inside your ad account, and then under your what are what is called day parting, you just have your Monday through you know Friday you know nine to five, and then you have you know Monday through Friday you know nine to nine to five, which would be your overnight. And then you can have your weekends all day long. And then what it's gonna do over time, it's, you're gonna be able to see what the cost of a lead is. And then of course, if you, there's a process called offline conversion tracking so that when a lead comes in, as long as you capture the uh, GCLID code that Google gives you uh, to capture when somebody fills out a form lead or when ultimately they call and you use a call tracking program uh, like CallRail, you can, it's a little serial number Google gives you that once that lead converts into a sale, you can take the amount that that person spent or what the contract value was and take the serial number Google gives you when the lead is created and what you capture when the lead is actually originated through your site, through the phone or through the form. Import that back to your account to the uploads menu on your account, which I have an article off about offline conversion tracking on my a guarantee PPC blog to walks you through this in very simple terms that you'll be able to see what the actual ROI is for overnight and on the weekend versus nine to five if you're a B2B business and then from there and, and, and it's not even about as well as I've mentioned many times on these videos about just shutting things off and on that's amateur stuff once you've done that get yourself set up a system so you can do that or link your CRM system to your Google Ads account, which some people do to automate that whole process of getting the revenue from the leads that you're getting into your ad account so you can see what's worth what there. Um, you use a, what is called a bid modification formula and if the traffic on the weekends is um, basically the ROI is at 30% uh, you know, there, then you just adjust what you're willing to pay through a bid adjustment is what that's called on the weekends versus your Monday through Friday nine to five so that you're sucking up whatever is available to do on the weekends at the price or value that it's worth to your business for the ROI level that you're shooting for and then you'll do the same thing on the nine to five normal stuff. Same thing with overnights. That's what the pros are gonna do. That's what I'm doing on our client campaigns. This is, a, I'm especially doing this if, you know, when we always start small and we scale up but to the point where we're looking for opportunities to scale, that I'm doing this because this is just, you know, if, if 9 to 5 works, the weekends will basically almost, you know, 90 plus percent of the time work for most, you know, 90 percent of niches out there. Well, I'm going to grab that traffic too. So, but going beyond that, uh, well, yes, there's true is there's a lag time of response. Uh, a leg in response time that causes a drop in close rates, um, assuming, and this is in reference to, um, if you get that traffic and during the weekends, you have no one to answer the leads, uh, even if you're a B2C business, you know, obviously this would apply, um, 
the for B2B, the cost of the traffic is so much less that even if they have to wait to the Monday and you're going to get some drop off, it's still usually worth it because most people just overlook it, like I said. Um, so, but with that, you also got to, before I finish this, you also got to consider if everybody else in your niche is making people wait and that person searches on Saturday and they find your ad on Saturday, they're going to fill out the form expect already expecting that they have to wait till Monday. So you're not going to get the drop off that you think you're getting some drop off, but not the same drop off. If you didn't answer the lead, you know, nine to five bit regular business hours, because the expectations are different here. But um, either way, for what little drop off you can't prevent that you're always going to get on the weekends when somebody fills out the, you know, your form, let's say, or calls after clicking on your ad when they reach your landing page from your PPC campaigns there on your site, that um, you know the, the drop off and why a lot of people don't do overnight and weekends traffic and why it's usually priced a little bit less or should I say a lot less for at least B2B style businesses. You can actually get rid of all of that leg, of course, if you answer the leads and you want to be the one person who does that. And like I said, most people are just going to expect if they fill out the form on a Saturday, they got to wait till Monday and that's true. But here's the whole strategy. This, this is everything I, I, I've mentioned so far is to, uh, the build up to the strategy here that I personally use to double, double the triple the ROI on our campaigns. You can use my techniques here to uh, take advantage of the arbitrage opportunity of nobody else willing to talk to somebody on a Saturday. And if you're well set up, you may not want to. And of course, like I said, you, you, can, you can even try this out yourself, see the extra profit you're making and decide if you want to hire somebody for Saturday and Sunday to answer the phone or not. That's certainly something that you can consider. But what I'm here, here's what I'm specifically doing to double or triple the ROI um, that I'm going to get during the week nine to five for a B2B business, but also for a B2C business, this also applies. On the ad, I'm actually just saying, we're open, all right? Anytime you make people think in, in the process of getting somebody from Google to, a custom, to being a customer, the less your conversion rates, the less money you're making. You want to eliminate confusion in, in any way possible you can. And this is just a phenomenal way to do it. And it's a way to be a, have a differentiator that it, it, if you don't have one right now, even if you do, just to blow things out of the water completely. Um, if you going, I'll just give a B2C example. Like a, let's say you're an electrician. You know, your, your power goes out or whatever at midnight. And you go, you're, you're on your phone. You Google it. What are you going to click on if you see, um, you know, 24-hour emergency, or 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 we we'll just say emergency electrical services, Denver? Call right now. We're open. We'll answer the phone right now, even uh, on a Saturday night. To be even the most specific, if you wanted to get the most action from this, you would be. You'd say the day, and this is easy to do because you have a campaign for Saturday night. You'll get a, a jump on top of what you would normally get by not mentioning the specific day, and then you get one just for Sunday. And then so basically, you tell them exactly what they want to know. Shit, I need some, <laughs> or crap, I need somebody to come out. Well, they just said that they're open on Saturday nights all night long, and they have somebody ready to talk to me right now. So I'm going to click on this ad. And on top of that, to eliminate confusion as much as possible, I'm taking people to the landing page and I'm also saying it there. I'm going to have a landing page just for my after hours traffic so I can say, just like we said on the ad, but in maybe a slightly different way, we're available. Saturday nights, we're available all night and we have a rep ready to talk to you right now if you call now and will for the rest of the night. And so the one-two combination of the ad and the landing page there that you have that's going to be a separate ad and a separate landing page for after hours and weekends or after hours and weekends that runs normally and then during the regular hours it doesn't say that all the extra stuff which you don't wouldn't normally want that you're going to be able to on that after hours traffic by doing that and on your weekend traffic by doing that get a hundred percent increase in your ROI um, 
for, for doing that. And on top, you know, a doubling of the, of the um, you know, the volume that you're going to get on top of that. So in other words, if you were to run your ads on the weekends, the click-through rate is going to be two to three times higher than if you didn't say all that stuff during that overnight hours, uh, during the overnight hours in the weekends. And then, so if you don't know, if you haven't heard already, due to Google's quality score system, a super high click-through rate that approaches 10%, which you're going to get with something like that, versus the 3% average that most people get, is going to drop your cost that you're paying for a click in half. So even if you're in a B2C space and it's competitive during the weekend, just having that on your ad and your landing page, you know, double the amount of people that will click through. So if it was profitable, now you got twice as many customers. Now you're going to pay half as much for those customers because you're going to get a reduction in cost per click because you got your click-through rate up sky high. And they wanted to respond at a higher rate because they got to your landing page and you, you reverberated what exactly what they want to hear. Basically, the number one thing that they want to hear, you just gave it to them on a silver platter. And so that is the, the actual golden gold-plated technique, if you will, that how you're going to take advantage of the overnight and weekend traffic for business. And if you're in a B2B capacity, obviously it's a little harder to do it. But uh, like I said, try it out yourself and see how it works. Do the ad, do the landing page. Um, if you're hungry and you're just starting out and you can't afford a lot of ads, I recommend just doing the after hours traffic. It's much, much cheaper, like I said. Plus, it's going to convert it at a higher rate. You're going to pay, you know, it automatically is going to be, you know, 60, 70% less than average anyway on the weekends because nobody wants that traffic but then once you add this to the whole mix it might be 80 percent less than what the average person is paying during peak times uh monday through friday at nine to five you know in the during the daytime hours and so uh but the same b2b stuff applies just don't think that you need to be so critical in that or professional um don't overthink it somebody who uh, wants to talk to somebody about a shipping uh, question, which would be a, you know, pretty, re or should I say even ultra relevant to the situation on a Saturday, I don't want to, I would be excited to talk to someone now. If they're going to tell me I could talk to somebody, we have a rep available to talk to you on Saturday afternoon, and then I click on the ad and they get to the page and they say, our reps are ready to take your, take your response or take your questions 24 hours a day. Uh, Rep is available today on Saturday, you know, 612-21. Call now. Here's the number. You're going to get the same kind of lift I told you about for the, the electrician business that I gave you an example from, which I've done that in that electrician business before. Not in shipping, but in a similar business to it, like where shipping consulting would be involved. Same thing is applied. And I've used this multiple, multiple times. I don't even know how many. Five plus times already we've done this. You know, worked on hundreds of campaigns, so five, it's not saying a lot because not everybody wants to actually do this. Of course, you got you guys are still have to be willing to do a little bit more than somebody else to get that extra pile of money. But that pile of money is waiting for anybody who wants to do it. Now, the last thing I'll say on this video is about the uh, I mentioned that we talk about holidays. So, as a bonus, you try this overnight and weekend thing out. Even though it's a pain in the butt to write to make a whole new campaign, so when somebody goes, you know, Google's my keywords on the weekends that they see an ad just for the weekends and get a landing page just for the weekends or overnight. When you get to Thanksgiving for the same electrical company, if I can see an ad that says "Working on Thanksgiving, no problem. Speak to a person now. We're waiting for your Thanksgiving call." Which you can do crap like that if you're just setting it up to run on Thanksgiving. Um, the actual gains you can get for this, and the same thing on the B2B side as well. Just because somebody's a business customer doesn't mean they're any different than the guy or gal that's calling about electrical problem. And so I'll, I'll have a campaign set up just for just like like I said, one for overnight Monday through Friday, but then also one for all day on the weekends to take advantage of this opportunity I mentioned to you here that I'm doing the same thing for Thanksgiving if I run that business and Christmas and you know whatever anything where people will automatically will be shut down during that time 
And so this one I, I, I've uh, done less often even yet because obviously people, they, they don't want to deal with the, uh, usually when people get fat, they get happy and they get lethargic and they don't want to do this extra stuff. But I have done this. The actual gain in, in um, instead of getting uh, the two times ROI, you can get upwards closer to three times ROI during the week if you're going to mention holidays when nobody else is open and they know they can just beeline to you and you're going to talk to them right now without question, you can get that extra money upwards of three times ROI. And again, three times ROI plus you're going to get more people than what a normal just click through anyway. So if it was profitable, now you have even more opportunity to, of the people of, to get more profit just in general. You can you know, ultimately see what, where I'm coming from here. And just as a, a whole note about that, once your overnight ad you know, campaign that will set, show an overnight you know, language about being open overnight on the ad, and you have a landing page set up for that, for that ad traffic to go to, and you've done it for the weekends, it just runs. You have to, the good thing about a lot of these strategies I give you is once it's set up, yeah, it'll take you, you know, 50 hours of time between development and programming and all that crap to do it. It will run for the next five years and every overnight and every weekend you're making extra money, a lot of extra money. If you're worried about doing this for just for Thanksgiving, the same thing is, can, can apply. And actually you could program your Google ads or Facebook ads, whatever you're doing so that the ad can run as soon as, Thanksgiving comes, and this goes for the overnight and the weekend ads, the normal ad can shut off, the Thanksgiving ad can turn on, and then after Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving ad can turn off automatically, and then your regular ad can turn back on, and it can all be automated, and it's, it doesn't take programming knowledge. And so this is something that I don't really do. Um, I do that kind of stuff normally anyway, because during Thanksgiving, I wanna have an ad that gives people a reason to come back to the site and buy. We're giving Thanksgiving, you know, special 10% off your order for the next three days to pull forward a bunch of tire kickers and people are on the fence to, to, to buy. You're going to make more money doing that than not doing that, just like a brick and mortar business does. But, uh, you know, to take advantage of the people where I'm generating leads and we know um, we want to scale. That's one of the strategies we're adding to the number of many other strategies we're adding to our overall PPC program to be able to generate that millions of dollars a year in sales and you do it one step at a time doing things like this and a lot of other things that I mentioned in my other videos here on this channel to put yourself in position to walk up a small budget to be to where you can afford to spend and get every basically customer you that's out there to get on Google um, or on Facebook or whatever. So the Thanksgiving and the Christmas ad that works every year can just be automatically set up once it's all set up to just run automated. Your overnight ad comes on, then it's not. Your weekend ad comes on, then it's not. Your Thanksgiving ad comes on, then it's not. So on and so forth. So anyway, I hope you got the uh, idea. Uh, I have a lot of other uh, strategies just like this about how to make extra money from your PPC campaigns on this channel. Go ahead and check them out if you want. Um, you know, it's stuff that I personally use for our clients to guarantee their results. And since we have to do that here at our firm at Guarantee PPC, I have a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog. As I mentioned earlier in the video, it talked about offline conversion tracking, but there's other step-by-step -step information on how to actually build the campaigns that I build for our clients here, in case you would like information regarding that. If you have any questions about running an overnight or weekend or holiday campaign for yourself, anything that you think I didn't cover and should, Leave a comment down below, guys. I get back to every person who leaves me a comment or a question on this channel. So I hope you enjoyed. Hope that Hopefully that uh, stimulated your mind a little bit about how to um, have an opportunity to afford the sky high you know, traffic rates on Google or what have you, uh, or just to get a little bit extra money from what you're doing right now. It's just a teeny bit more work. A lot, lot more money is waiting for you on the other end.